These days, when you want to carry your teammates, you feel like you need to lock a duelist. But once you go and look at all the duelists, there's so many to choose from. So right now, what are the best duels to pick and why? We're going to break it all down with the top four must-pick duelists. Starting up with number one on the list, surprising no one, ISO. Now, this character is straight up breaking the game. Is what a lot of people are saying right now. And while ISO is getting a hot fix, either they are getting it or they already got it to make him a little bit weaker. ISO is still one of the most powerful duelists and characters in the entire game right now. Notably, the ability to put on shields and take duels that you have an advantage in is incredibly strong. And ISO gets to take that initial challenge. And if you are hitting your shots, even if the opponent is hitting theirs, you will win. And that puts a lot of the mechanical ability into your hands the a lot of the ability to win these duels into your hands and the better you are mechanically and the more clean you take your gunfights as in the better your cross replacement is the better and more precise you take these duels the more and more value you will get on iso and the ability to just kind of take and challenge a lot of hot angles where if enemies are there you have an advantage fight and if they're not there at the very least you get to claim that space that area for your team that is super super strong now granted even though iso is really strong they're not going to do all the work for you you still have to hit your shots and honestly iso gets worse the more body shots are generated across the board if you're hitting more body shots the enemy team is hitting more body shots then iso is going to become worse and worse and it's not a character that you really want to play at the skill floor so even if you see radiant people pop off with it if you don't think your mechanical skill is top tier then there is another duelist on this list that i would recommend for you but if you do have the mechanical skill to back up these engagements iso becomes better and better and it's one of the best solo carry characters and best duelists to pick right now in ranked bar none now if i were to give you one tip on this character though i would say the biggest thing that iso players are messing up is with their ultimate i know you want to pop on your shields and you want to just randomly ult someone anywhere right and you want to do it right away you want to ult someone you want to take that duel with them and in all fairness to you you do have that advantage there are two barricades you do have that over shield you get to fight them and you have a lot of advantages here but we should stay Stack it a bit better than that. And what I mean by that is you would ideally like the disappearance of someone to be a gap in a defense that your team can use. So if you're doing it randomly and neutral, yeah, you can get that kill. That's cool. You might get some armor and then you could maybe go take a duel, even though people are probably not going to fight you after you get another set of armor. But if you lose it, which is still possible, you don't get any value no matter what. And even if you win, there are better ways to get value, namely if you take a defender from a site as your team is ready to engage that's one less person that can use utility that can delay your team that can help their teammate trade and your teammates can still get value and on the off chance you lose the fight if your teammates push in they can typically collapse on the last remaining person on a site and then still kill the person that won the duel against you after the fact the idea here is you're trying to get the most amount of value with this ultimate no matter what so keep that in mind and you're going to get a lot more value on average now speaking of more value skill capped is the best place to start to get consistent value with every single duelist in the game if you're finding yourself consistently missing shots we have mechanical courses that will get you to a immortal or radiant level aim as quickly as possible if you have consistency problems we have training guides and warm-up routines that will build that consistency ingrained in you so that you're always racking up high kills and you feel reliable ability in your own play last up if you want to know how pro players think and you want to play exactly like them able to just dominate a lobby we have videos for you on our course as well so regardless of what you need we have it there for you at skillcap.com and if you don't climb you don't pay we have a money back guarantee so what are you waiting for check it out right now down below now the next character that we do got to talk about is still jet jet is phenomenal and still a character that should not be slept on just because there are some other characters that did get some buffs in the duelist role doesn't mean that you should stop locking jet similar to iso you have the opportunity to take duels against enemies and still get out safely if you don't initially get that kill or if the odds are stacked against you unlike iso who will oftentimes just die to multiple enemies challenging them or situations where people have weapons that are really really effective
effective against them, whether it's a shotgun or a piece of utility around the corner that they can't play around. Jet can get out of those things. And in addition to that, Jet can get out of ultimates altogether, get out of a lot of different cooldowns. And really, the ability to reposition is way more versatile than just becoming more survivable in a lot of situations. Not to mention, one of Jet's best attributes is the ability to take space on a site, dash onto site, and either sit in their smoke or gather information through corners or wait for their team to follow up and use utility like initiator flashes to play off of them that sort of mobility is unparalleled and it's something that you should really learn how to do and play as jet is played in just about every single rank and at the pro level a lot and she's pound for pound one of the most dominant characters in ranked by far we do need to talk about the ability for jet to get a lot of value out of guns that other characters just can't being able to take multiple duels with the sheriff being able to sit in cheeky angles with a judge or even a shorty and of course opping and i do understand that when you're up against a lot of these isos it can be frustrating to opt because all of a sudden you shoot an iso they shield up and things like that but the beauty of jet is you have the range advantage where you can get that shot off dash away and there's literally no way that the enemy team could possibly kill you or punish you for that action so as long as you're playing these really powerful angles and making sure that you're hitting that initial shot or you're making sure to back off of an angle if you see an iso use their shield then you're gonna be able to wait it out and potentially reset because of course of the hotfix iso shield isn't gonna last nearly as long anymore and he has to force those engagements a lot quicker which puts the pressure more on him now also one of the most important things about jet is just knives knives is such a great eco weapon the ability to win rounds where your team is saving dramatically flip rounds that you should lose on paper and fight enemies in a way that's dynamic utilizing your mobility and making you hard to punish it's all amazing and still jet is one of the most powerful duelists period to synergize with initiators in a way that iso and other duelists can't do nearly as well especially if you're duoing jet is still the preferred duelist to play with many other initiators like sky sova fade and the list goes on but the next duelist that you should be playing right now is actually neon and it's for several other reasons of course neon just got some massive buffs and feels a lot more effective to play and this could be a great reason to play this character has good mobility has a really really unique kit overall has a good ultimate that can be used similar to jet knives that saves their team money and can be used on an eco to kind of flip the scales but more than anything more than isa more than jet more than any character in the game when you master neon's movement it creates a certain x factor that if a player is not accustomed to has a really hard time dealing with you neon just operates at a much different tempo different pace where if you practice this character and you understand how you can rotate and get away with certain fast rotations how you can uh, potentially attack a site with utility enemies that are not accustomed to that will often get destroyed by a neon who's always where they don't think they will be they'll always be cutting them off via rotation they'll always be pushing them when they're whipping out a piece of utility and especially when players are not really conscious of how fast a neon can hit them and how fast a neon can transfer through an area they will often be caught with their pants down so to speak they'll have that recon bolt out they'll have that piece of utility out and they're just dying to a neon they're getting destroyed because you could always mess up their timing and the better you get at movement with neon and the better you get at cheating some of those timings the harder and harder it will be to play around you and that's incredibly powerful don't even get me started when you start to combine neon with a character like breach and you're gonna set some truly unfair situations for the enemy that just feel impossible to deal with but really i give neon a special x factor in ranked because of that difficulty to play around if you are a great neon enemies are just sometimes going to fold to you and they're not going to understand how to deal with you they're not going to understand what they do they're not going to understand how to shut you down and also being able to run and gun and being really really hard to hit while you're moving really skill checks a lot of people and those people are going to lose these skill checks and you're going to rack up a lot of kills completely outplay people in a way that no other character can i would definitely suggest locking neon if you're willing to give her the proper grind learn all the movement learn everything you need to know about this character to master her then you'll really start to get a ton of value and start to dominate your games but i did say the character that i would suggest if you are not the most competent in your mechanical skill we're all a work in progress and of course you can go to skill cap to further your mechanical journey but it's gonna take some time and you're not gonna just be a head dinker instantly right but the character that i would suggest for you in that case is actually phoenix 
who's amazing for your development and an amazing duelist to play in ranked period. Now, Phoenix is great because you can set up no win scenarios for the enemy team where you know where they are, you've identified the areas that they're in, you flash and you get to take a duel that is super advantage for you. And those duels, you're gonna win. You have a high chance of winning because they're blinded. They're not gonna be able to kill you or shoot back in an accurate way. And you're gonna be able to basically shut them down. And in addition to that, Phoenix can set up a lot of advantage fights. Whether you're forcing someone out of a corner with your molly or ulting onto site to take a duel with them where even if they win, they don't really win. Phoenix gets a lot of do-overs and a lot of engagements that are gonna be an advantage for him. So even if you're not the most dominant mechanical player, you can still completely take over a lobby and top frag with Phoenix fundamentals. And you can also still rack up them kills, get better and better mechanically over time. But Phoenix clearly gives you all the tools that you need to carry a game and doesn't necessarily put mechanics at the forefront. It is important, but there are ways to win a game outside of mechanics and understanding game sense, proper angle clearing, how to take advantage fights, how to take space on point. These are all really, really important important things that Phoenix could be that perfect character for. And we already know that Phoenix has one of the best win rates in ranked play across the board. I think in the chaotic nature of solo queue, he's one of the best characters you could play period because you can assume the job of so many different characters. You can really do what your team needs in any given situation. And this is why he's such a great ranked pick. I would just highly suggest him as a main for a lot of people that want to play a duelist. They maybe want to become a great player, but they don't think they're there yet. And they need a character to develop with and get better with while they are learning i think phoenix is fantastic and once you master him he's also a character that has more tricks than meets the eye just make sure that you're farming up those old orbs you're trying to abuse the fact that his ultimate is so cheap and so strong and you're going to be just fine right now with that duelist but these are the top four duels that i would suggest for you in different situations but if you have any questions definitely let us know down below and you're going to definitely want to check out skill capped right here thank you and we'll see you next time